Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Tough Girl Challenges. It is now Wednesday, so two days before we head off to the Marathon de Saabs. I finally finished sort of compiling all of my kit together, which I'll just show you. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a selection there. So what I thought I'd do is I'd talk you through how I'm gonna pack my kit into my bag and what I'm packing. So, let me just quickly show you my backpack. So I've talked on another episode about the reasons why I picked the Raid Light. And one of the things I mentioned was about the lack of support around the shoulders. So what I've done for the MDS is I've actually taken two shoulder pads and I've just sewn them underneath the shoulders just to provide that little bit of extra support. So packing, where to start? So where I'm going to start is this is my sleeping mat and I'm going to place this at the very back of my bag, of my rucksack. So basically it'll provide that extra support down my spine. So it doesn't really matter what size you're gonna use, but I think that's going to be more comfortable. So shove it in here, just at the back. And what I worked out is that if I actually sort of turn over the edges, that they sort of fit around, okay. So I've now got that at the back and I've got loads of space at the bottom. So I talked previously as well when I talked about my food about, um, about the different types of stuff that I had in there. So I actually reduced all of my food down massively into these packs. This is sort of day pack one and in there it's got my Sparto, my iron water, it's got my hammer bars, it's got my protein powder, it's got my electrolytes, it's got my dinner. So this one is the mountain beef stew at 390 calories so it fits into a really nice bag and it's so much lighter so i'm just going to place that into the bottom of the bag i've then got um day well it doesn't really matter what day you should put them in but this is my food for rest day so day two day three so they're all roughly around the same size around the same uh, weight which is good Day four. This is the only bag I couldn't actually seal up. And this is, um, the reason this one is so jam-packed is this is day, the day before the long day. And so um, what I want to do is basically like load, eat loads of food the day before, just like carbo load up. So that then fits in, in the bottom there. So that's five packs of food, pretty much flat packed now. So what that leaves me with is two more. So I've got my sleeping bag. Now someone did mention on Twitter, are you not going to use your compressor? And I took the compressor off to save weight basically because I can't really get it much smaller than that even with the compressor on. And it sort of fits quite nicely into my backpack. So then around the side, I can put in, put in final two days of food. Now all of the food is 2,000 calories, so I've hit all of the requirements, which is pretty awesome. So that is pretty, pretty spacious really. So that's all fitted in um, really well. So if I, if I can zip it up, um, so zip it up, I'm zipping it all the way around. So that's all my food and my sleeping bag. Now, and so when what you've got here is like a really padded back as well, which would be really nice. This is going to be my pillow for sleeping. So I unfortunately I had to go with the crappy pillow with the gross velvet on just because of the size and the weight. And that fits really nicely in the bottom of my bag. So that just goes in flat in here. I'll probably put that in first. the struggle Ugh. okay there we go so zip that up and that's in in the bottom okay so a few other things that I need to take with me which I'm going to be putting in this little pouch at the top you have to take your passport and you also need to take 200 euros. I looked everywhere for 200 euros, could not find a 200 euro note. I'm still going to try and get one at the airport, but, but I've ended up with basically um, 
uh, for 50 euro notes. I mean, it's a very slight difference, but it's sometimes it's the little things that make the difference. So I've got my passport and my money, which is going to go into this top sort of pocket. I'm going to squeeze that um, in there. The other things that I'm going to be putting in here are like the electrical items. So I bought myself a solar charger and this is an Enu Tech. Now I have no idea how good this is going to be, but I have fully charged it up. Um, I read all the reviews, it sounded really good. So the test unfortunately is going to be out in the desert, but that fits really nicely in here. It comes with a little hook as well, so you can hook it on your bag while you're running. And then in the backpack there's actually a hook here, so you can hook both on, so that will just hang down. So that fits in this little pocket at the top as well. Um, the other things I need, I need my head torch, brand new battery. So that will go in here as well. Part of the mandatory requirements is to have spare batteries, two spare batteries, you can go in there. Uh, this is the solar charger that I need, so that links in here and then it becomes like a USB and you can use that to plug in different things that you need. So I'll shove that in, in there. Okay. Ah. So when I'm racing, I actually have the Garmin watch. Um, I'm not actually sure what type this one is, but basically I've used it to train and also the heart rate monitor. So I'll obviously be wearing the heart rate monitor when I do the training. My watch is not going to last for the race, so that's why I need to take the charger. Unfortunately, it is quite bulky, but hopefully the solar charger will charge it and I'll be able to use my heart rate monitor, which will just be a really useful indication of what, um, of what my heart's doing, how much... You know, can I go faster? Do I need to slow down? What do I need to do to to manage me as best as I can? So that's it. All of that in there. If I turn it around the backpack, turn it around to the front. What I'm going to do is in the front you're going to have the water bottles, obviously. So water bottle each side, and I have one with the electrolytes in and one with just normal water. I've got. Here, these are the electrolyte tablets that I told you about um, before. These are by the Extreme Electrolytes by Hammer, I think it is. So they, these are going to fit into the side pocket. So just really easily um, accessible. So shove those in here. I then have my antibacterial hand gel, which I'm going to put somewhere useful. So at the very, or very easily accessible. So on top of the, um, above the water, there's another pocket. So that will fit the hand gel in there. If I do the top up. Squeeze that in there. Then, what I did with, um, I've, when I was training and going on really long runs, I really struggled to maintain a really slow pace if I was listening to music. As soon as music came on, came on I wanted to just run so much faster. So I ended up listening to podcasts. So what I've done is I've got one pink iPod shuffle, which I even got engraved. And it says on the back, tough girl, um, you've got this. I then got a gold one, which is going to be just purely for podcasts. And at the back it says, if you can dream it, you can do it. So I've got two iPod shuffles and they're going to go on the other side. I then got um, headphones, and these headphones are the special ones that where you sort of lock them in your ears, and when you lock them in, they basically won't pull out. Um, so they can go in there as well. I've then got my Pro Sport Lip Ice Factor 30 SPF, so that'll just go little top pocket. Um, what else do I have? Ah, okay. So one of the mandatory pieces of, of kit is actually a compass and unfortunately this was the smallest size compass that I could use but ideally it actually fits or just squeezes right into the front of my water bottle so I'm not going to use that. Also needed a whistle, again lightest whistle I could find and also the cheapest so that will then go into the front of this and this is, it takes a little bit of shoving on. Brilliant, so therefore I've got my whistle and my compass my essential items of the kit. Um, what else? So I'm just left with now very sort of very few items. So um, I really don't like the cold. So what I've got here is I've got this tiny little puffer jacket, which is just like a little fleecy thing. So I have shoved it down into a plastic bag, but this is really moldable, so you can see how small it actually goes. So I'm going to put this 
if I go to the back of the backpack, I've got these two big pockets at the front. So I'm just going to shove that in one of those. Then have toilet roll. So these were these toilet rolls, um, just got them off Amazon and personal tissue, 150 sheets. They were basically a couple of quid each, but instead of taking like one big toilet roll, they've all been compressed and super light. Now, I don't know how many. I read somebody else's blog, Dr. Laura Gush's blog, I believe it was, really useful. And she said that she only took two of these, but she wished she'd taken three. So I'm going to take three and take her advice. So toilet rolls can just be shoved in the back. Now, the other piece of mandatory equipment that I needed to take was the, um, this is called, what is this called? This is the Venom Pump, and it actually comes in like this big plastic container, in the container. It came with two nozzles, so I basically picked the smallest and lightest nozzle, and um, I'm just going to shove that in the side pocket as well. What else do I have? Body Glide, Essential, we're going to be rubbing that all over. Um, all over my shoulders, anywhere where I potentially could get rubbing, especially sort of here, you know, when you're running along, it's sort of under the arm occasionally, so that can go in there. Uh, pen knife, I need that to go in there, actually. Sorry, this is my mandatory kit. So what I've got in here is I've got the foil blanket. Now what I did with the foil blanket, this is actually, this packaging is from the foil blanket packaging. And I actually got the foil blanket out and just chopped it in half. So saving weight. In here I've got some pretty powerful painkillers. I've got my, I went for Soldaline Max. So apparently you can only take these for three days in a row before you become addicted to them. So um, paracetamol, codeine and caffeine. So quite strong, um, quite strong painkillers. Not sure how much I'm going to use them, but at least I've got them. And then I just got a toothbrush, which I got from Etihad Airways. So super, super light. And I also got their mini toothbrush, their mini tubes of toothpaste. So super, super small, super lightweight. I've also got the 10, um, 10 safety pins in there as well, along with, um, I've forgotten what it calls now, the, uh, they basically block you up. So in case you get the shit while you're running, then you take these. Uh, Imodium. So I've got some Imodium in there as well. So, a few little, cute little essential things um, in that little package. And that, oh, to be honest, that actually, where that could fit is, do you remember I told you about the front, there's this like little side pocket in here, and this is quite flat. So, if I just put that in there, okay. And then, now I've only got a few items left, so let me show you what I've got left. Um, I've got a spare pair of socks. These are my beautiful, amazing um, Balagara socks. So I'm saving these for basically for the long stage, the marathon and the half marathon. So they can just shove in there. Now, I've also got uh, my recovery compression calf guards. So these are also by 2XU. I'm a massive fan of 2XU and these are just fabulous. They are just so, so great. They fit really, really well around the leg. And what's really important is I've got really um, long legs and these actually fit me right from the top all the way down to um, like the ankle. So I've got those, so I'll be able to shove them in the side as well. The other essential piece of equipment, a spoon, something to eat with, super, super light. Um, shove that in there. Um, what else have I got left? So I've only got a couple of items left now. So sunscreen, um, yeah, smallest tub I could find, factor 30, that will do. I'll probably keep that somewhere and down the side in the side pocket. Then I've also got this. Now this is um, a homeopathic medicine. It's called R30 and this was recommended to me by my naturopath. Thank you for that recommendation. And this is Dr. Regweg. And it's this incredible ointment. And you rub it onto any sore muscles, any aches and any pains. Now, it is quite heavy, but it's about, it's sort of about sort of a quarter gone. But I'm going to take that with me anyway, because carrying this, the extra weight, will be totally worth it. So I will definitely carry that. And that will also fit in the side pocket the back um just got some softer wipes just about half a pack just to keep hygienic and um 
and clean, which is important. So put that in there. So let me zip this back up. And we are almost done. Okay, as soon as this zips, I'm going to sit that way. Okay. So that is that all zipped up. The only other thing that I am taking is this is the part of the bag which um, which you attach via the straps underneath. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use that, this or not yet. So I may still end up being, but I'm going to take it with me out there so I have the option when I'm out in the desert. And that will just fit in the side pocket at the top. The other thing that I'm taking is um, just some homeopathic, um, homeopathic medicines. I wrapped it in foil just to get it through, um, through the security because it's not good when it goes through x-rays. But in here I've got um, cal calendula, calendula, which is for healing. I've got arnica, which is like really, really deep and good for your muscles. I've got ruta, 200C for sprains, strains, sprains, bruises and tendons. I'm also taking with me some bellus, deep tissue, which is for recovery. And I've also got some callus foss, which is when you're feeling really, really exhausted, you'll take this and it will basically help you push you through. So just a few sort of homeopathic uh, remedies there, which, um, which would be really, really awesome. I love homeopathic uh, medicine, I think it's really great. So they're all wrapped in foil and they will just fit, uh, fit in the backpack to the side. So that is my backpack now, um, completely full. And to be honest, I was really surprised when I tried it on because I was almost like quite scared. Oh, lighter, don't forget lighter. I've actually been, um, I'm such, I'm trying to like lose the weight out of the lighter. So I've been lighting it to try and get the lighter fluid down. Um, but all these little things help, help. So got the lighter in there. Um, so yeah, so I was actually quite surprised when I put it on because it wasn't as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Now I haven't weighed it. I almost don't want to know because then psychologically it'll be like quite scary but it's yeah it's pretty it's pretty good once you get it on your back so that is my backpack this is what I'm going to be wearing for um for the marathon de Sabs. and um yeah so with my shoulder pads my shoulder pads on just get my hair out of the way and leave it all fit and I just need to add the extension strap around the waist but that is me and my backpack so actually not too bad I'm getting pretty excited now um, glad I could fit it all in do I need to get anything else the only other thing I need to get is just a few things for blister so I just need to pop to the pharmacy and grab some stuff for that but it should only be small and light um, that's my backpack and yeah oh by the way don't forget if you want to follow me you can track me using my race number, which is 1213. The links are on Tough Girl Challenges website, so www.toughgirlchallenges.com. It's also on the Facebook page. And, um, yeah, you'll be able to track me as I go through the race. Right.